My dad was the landlord of this pub, and his dad before him. It'll be his when the time's right. Generations of skilled workers drank here. Now they've all been chucked on the slaggy by Thatcher and Esseltine. Homes destroyed to make buildings and offices, with no new homes built to replace them. The march of history, Mr. Bonds. Hitler couldn't drive my dad out of this pub. And I'll tell you this, Mr. Run. No poxy Docklands development's gonna succeed where the Luftwaffe failed. We ain't going nowhere. The thing is, Mr. Bonds. Where will you be watching the uh, the royal wedding? We won't be watching it anywhere. It's a charade. To paper over the cracks, a mass unemployment, and the wholesale destruction of working class communities. You're a cheerful booger, you are, aren't you? Inbred bloody fascists. Don't you dare swear in front of your mother! Sorry, Dad. Idiot! Mr. Bonds, I'm not interested in spoiling your protest. What I do ask is that you sit up here quietly until after Di and Charles have tied the knot. Can we shake hands on that? Uh, can I just... Do you mind say... if I have another Garibaldi, Mrs. Bonds? Fine fare. Oh, Prestos. Will you just shut up and listen to me? This is my bloody fantasy and I will be listened to. Excuse my colleague. Education of a toff, manners of a sewer rat. Sorry. I just wanted to say that I admire your stance, Mr. Bonds, I really do. But there is no point in fighting a battle that can't be won. You know, in 10 years' time, glass and steel will tower above us. The only thing that will remain from this street will be the street name. I've seen it, so I know. So please, let us help you move on. There'll be other battles to fight in other places, and battles you may even have a chance of winning. Piss off out of my home.